So, dear Jens, I am very happy to have you here with us today for our college seminar at the beginning of the year. The first visit, um, your first visit at our college was in December 2020 in a completely different world. At that time, it was the very first time that a NATO Secretary General ever came to the European College, and it was already a sign uh, for our excellent cooperation. Since then, our cooperation has only deepened and grown, and this is also reflected in the new joint declaration that we signed yesterday. So together, we are now taking our partnership to a next level. This happens, of course, against the backdrop of an increasing geopolitical competition. We know that our adversaries and our competitors are using all possible tools to challenge us and to undermine our security. They are afraid of our openness, of our transparency, of our democracies. So they will seek to exploit as much as possible these values, the openness, and of course they will try to exploit our interdependencies. That's why it is so important that we stand together and strengthen our resilience overall. Today at the college seminar, we will be discussing Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. It is now day 322 of the invasion, and we will discuss our support to Ukraine from the humanitarian side to the economic side to the security assistance. We will, of course, also reflect on the consequences for European security. And we will discuss the potential changes that are necessary in our respective policies, um, seeing the backdrop of a, a security threat in the European Union and the European, European region. For that, we have, for example, to boost our defense capabilities in Europe, because we all know that a stronger European defense will also make NATO stronger. Since the beginning of Russia's war, member states have started to increase their military spending. That's very good. But we do not only need to spend more, but we also need to spend better. This is important to avoid costly fragmentation. It is important to ensure that there's value for money. We need to build interoperable forces. That's the most important part. And of course, to maintain a strong industrial military base in Europe. We do already have the European Defence Fund, which helps to develop cutting edge military technologies. And now we have to make progress on the joint defence procurement to harmonise that, to have a real common approach to that. But there's also another topic that we will discuss, that are the threats against our critical infrastructure. This is one important, it's a new focus for our cooperation, and it is the security of our infrastructure where we have to step up the cooperation. We have seen the sabotage of Nord Stream that has so shown that we need to be ready and that we need to confront this new type of threats. So today we are launching an EU-NATO task force for resilient critical infrastructure. This is a task force where our experts from NATO and the European Union will work hand in hand to identify key threats to our critical infrastructure, to look at the strategic vulnerabilities that we do have, then, of course, also to um, develop key principles to improve our resilience and to propose mitigating measures and remedial actions. The task force will, at the beginning, cover four sectors. That is transport, it is energy, it is digital and space. And, of course, we will report back our findings to the member states or the allies by now 23, if you count in Finland and Sweden, 23 member states of the 27 in the European Union are also in NATO. It is about information sharing. It is about best practices. Of course, it is about early warning and shared expertise. 
but we will also discuss about other areas of cooperation. In short, welcome to the college seminar and I'm happy to have you here. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Ursula. It's a great pleasure to be back and uh, to uh, again be able to meet with the uh, College of uh, Commissioners. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure to have this opportunity uh, for the second uh, time. Uh, our partnership, the partnership between uh, the uh, European Union and NATO is more important than ever because Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine has uh, fundamentally changed our security. In recent days, uh, we have seen fierce fighting around Bakhmud and uh, Solodar in eastern uh, Ukraine. This shows once again uh, the bravery of Ukrainian uh, forces as they fight uh, to defend their homeland. It also shows how vital it is uh, that we step up our support our military support to Ukraine. I therefore welcome the recent announcements uh, by the United States, France and Germany uh, that they will soon deliver infantry fighting vehicles and light tanks. And the unprecedented support by all NATO allies and EU member states. Our support uh, makes a real difference um, on the ground. And at this key juncture of uh, the war, we must do even more, even faster. From the start of the conflict, NATO and the European Union have stood with uh, Ukraine and have stood together. Just yesterday, we signed a new joint declaration, uh, you and I, uh, Ursula, and uh, uh, the President of the European uh, Council, Charles uh, Michel. This will take the partnership uh, between NATO and the European Union to a new level. In a world of growing uh, geopolitical competition, we will address new areas, such as emerging and disruptive technologies, space and the security impact of climate change. Resilience and um, the protection of critical infrastructure are a key part of our joint uh, efforts. Uh, as we have seen both with uh, President Putin's weaponizing of energy and, as you mentioned, Ursula, the sabotage of the North Stream pipelines. So we have agreed uh, to create uh, a NATO-EU task force on resilience and critical infrastructure. We want to look together uh, at how to make our critical infrastructure technology and supply chains more resilient uh, to potential threats and to take action to mitigate potential vulnerabilities. This will be an important step in making our societies stronger and safer. So there, Ursula, thank you again for your invitation and thank you for your strong commitment to strengthening the partnership, the cooperation between the European Union and NATO. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go. Thank you.